hello and you are welcome to another youtube video so in today's video we are going to be talking about the concept of the skillness of a data set but before i try to enter this topic properly i would like to actually define a very important term and that is the term of distribution in statistics or data analysis when we mention the word distribution it can make reference to two things either the frequency distribution or the probability distribution so our attention right now is all about the concept of frequency distribution uh, we will talk about probability distributions in later videos a frequency distribution is actually a way in statistics we used to know how variables in a data set actually interact with each other based on the number of times that each of those variable occur uh, a frequency distribution can actually be uh, visualized graphically uh, on the y-axis we actually have the frequency and on the x-axis we actually have the variable of interest there are actually several tools that we can use to visualize the frequency distribution of a data set but the best is actually the histogram when you plot the histogram for a continuous data set for your data set you tend to like see the shape of the distribution and this is the beauty of a frequency distribution this is one of the distinct property of a frequency distribution it allows us to actually see the shape that defines that distribution that defines that data set once you know the shape that defines a data set you can be able to tell uh, the skewness property uh, of that data set and this is very important to us uh, when it comes to the concept of hypothesis test the whole of hypothesis test is based on the fact that uh, the data set that we are working with is actually uh, a symmetric data the concept of symmetricness is all about how the data set or how the variables in that data set are actually distributed if you plot the histogram for any data set you would be able to see uh, the shape of that data set by having an outline so from this you can be able to tell whether the data set is symmetric or not when you know the distribution of your data set it can actually bring out two details that are very important to us and that is skewness and kurtosis this video is actually focused on skewness and subsequent videos will actually focus more on kurtosis so basically skewness is actually the measure of the asymmetric property of a distribution when something is asymmetric it simply means that thing is not symmetric so let us define symmetricness uh, in simple terms uh, a distribution is said to be symmetric if if we decide to cut that distribution into uh, uh, into halves uh, one half is going to mirror the other it means that the left hand side of the distribution is going to mirror the right hand side of the distribution and one of the most popular example of a symmetric distribution is actually a normal distribution if you divide the normal distribution from the center uh, which has zero uh, you you will realize that uh, the left half of the distribution kind of mirrors the right half of the distribution the opposite of symmetricness is the asymmetric property and that is where skewness comes inside so when a distribution is actually uh, skewed it means that it has an asymmetric property it means that when we decide to divide the distribution from the center it won't give us equal halves it means one half is going to be uh, more skewed than the other or vice versa so before i talk about the types of skewness i have to define two details and that is the concept of peak and tail so the peak is actually the highest point uh, of the distribution and the tail is actually the lowest end of a distribution uh, for a symmetric distribution take for example a normal a normal distribution it has just one peak and uh, it has two tails but when the data set is skewed it has just one tail and one peak so we basically have two types of skewness and that is uh, a right skewed or a positively skewed data set or whatever we we'll call uh, a left skewed or a negatively skewed data set when your data set is right skewed it simply implies that most of the variables of that data set actually cluster towards the left and a few of the variables cluster towards the right hence making the tail of that distribution point towards the right and when we have our distribution to be left skewed it simply implies that most of the variables in that data set actually cluster around the right and fewer of the variables cluster towards the left and uh, the tail of the distribution actually points towards the left and when our data set is not skewed it means that the data set is actually symmetric meaning uh, it has uh, a perfect distribution of the variables making us have just a single peak and we have two tails in as much as when you plot the histogram for a data set you 
can be able to tell if the data set is actually uh, normally distributed that is it is not skewed or we have a right skewed data or we have a left skewed data that is actually not enough for us to be able to tell whether a data set is skewed to the left or skewed to the right sometimes we want to know how much skewness does a data set have why is this data set or is this data set more skewed than this data set is this data set more left skewed or more right skewed than this data set and this is where the concept of using a number to actually quantify skewness comes inside if you go to the uh, descriptive statistics part of excel you will realize that we have uh two details and uh, that is the skewness or the cutosis the skewness which we are interested in is a number and uh, it is being used to define the skewness of the distribution so a distribution having a skewness of 2.3 is actually more skewed than a distribution having a skewness value of 0. 0.9. So we actually use two numbers to actually quantify the skewness of a distribution and that is what we call the piercing skewness coefficient and we have what we call the momental skewness. So basically the piercing skewness coefficient actually make use of the mean, the median, the mode and the standard deviation of the data set to actually define the skewness of a distribution. According to piercing skewness coefficient we can use the value of the mean, the median and the mode to actually tell whether a data set is actually symmetric or not. So most times you might not need to do the proper calculations to be able to tell whether a data set is actually symmetric or not and this is the rule right here for a symmetric distribution that is for example in normal distribution the mean is actually equals to the median which is actually equals to the mode for a right skewed or a possibly skewed data set the mean is actually greater than the median which in thorns is actually greater than the mode and for a left skewed distribution or a left skewed or a negatively skewed data set rather uh, the mean is actually lesser than the median which in turns is actually lesser than the mode this way you can directly look into a data set and be able to tell from just the mean median mode if the data set is actually uh, left skewed right skewed or it is actually symmetric the concept of skewness and unskewness is actually very important to us when it comes to the concept of hypothesis testing because this is where the whole basis uh, of hypothesis test and statistical inference actually lie on so you can see this topic as an introduction or a phase to transition into the concept of hypothesis test if you learned something new from this video and you really enjoyed this video i would really appreciate if you can give this video a thumbs up and also subscribe to this youtube channel do you think i missed something or i missed a point please don't hesitate to go into the comment section and drop those points of yours if you want to learn more about the concept of the measure of central tendency which includes the mid median mode and the measure of dispersion which includes things like the variance and the standard division i have a video right here for you here that you can just go check out we we'll see you in the next one and bye for now